So I've been developing Dreadwinter, my coffee shop sim slash adventure RPG for over a year and a half now. But lately, for a game about running a coffee shop, I haven't actually been able to work on the coffee shop gameplay. A lot of what I've been doing has been under the hood improvements to make my life easier. And the only bit of game content I've had time to make was adding some strange animals to my furniture slash pet store. To give myself a change of pace, I decided to do a game jam of sorts and try making a game within a short time frame. A while ago, Genshin Impact had a web mini game where you ran a pop-up store making special drinks for customers and I wanted to create something similar. Since I'm already working on a cafe sim, it was easy to tie it to the game concept I was thinking of, which led to the idea of pop-up Dreadwinter. The concept is pretty simple. To promote the cafe Dreadwinter, you've opened up a pop-up shop in the middle of nowhere and make coffee for customers. I wanted to focus more on the spooky side of things, so the store opens up at night and all your customers are supernatural creatures. Before I started on the game, I spent some time figuring out how the gameplay was going to work and created some basic assets to give myself some sort of direction. I'm usually quite liberal with my colour palette, so for this game I wanted to try limiting myself to a specific one. I think the biggest design challenge was trying not to add too many features, while creating something I thought would be fun to play. The gameplay consists of adding a specific combination of coffee beans to create a flavour profile according to the customer's order, grinding, brewing and serving. It's a simplified version of how you do things in Treadwinter though I wanted to add a bit more customization to the drinks. As you earn money, you can buy a Brewology certification, which lets you add ingredients to the coffee to adjust the flavour, and you can also unlock different cups to use, which add to the sale price. Adding ingredients made the gameplay a bit more interesting, as you had to account for how the ingredients a customer wants affects the flavour profile of their order, such as wanting a strong coffee with milk, which reduces the strength of the coffee. I wanted to add more features as well, such as having unique drinks you could make by following a recipe, and decorations to make a drink unique. But when you have so little time to make the game, it's best to keep things as simple as possible. I did add in the ability to buy charms, which provides certain effects to boost your income. I think this fits in well with the spooky theme, so I'm quite happy with this idea. When it came to making the game, I ended up spending most of my time putting together all of the components in the engine and making additional assets rather than writing code. As usual, I went with Godot as my game engine. I was originally planning to transition from Godot 3.5 to 4 and was going to try using GD script rather than C sharp, but I figured it was best to keep the number of challenges to a minimum, which ended up being the right call. Despite sticking to comfort, things still got a little messy near the end so it's definitely best to avoid trying new things. I just about managed to get everything done within the three days I set for myself, though I'd say the game is playable but not perfect. There's a few things missing, like a tutorial and a settings menu, but the gameplay loop is functional, so I can say that it's technically done. Looking back at how things went, I think limiting the scope of the game was definitely a good call, and I probably would have benefited from simplifying it further. I think the best thing to do would be to make the simplest game possible and then add things on if you have the time. I had time to take breaks here and there, which helped a lot, but I was rushing at times. The other thing I could have done was prepping all of the assets I was going to use beforehand and planning out all of the UI as it turned out to be most of what I worked on. Making this game was a nice change of pace though, and I think if I were to have done this two years ago, it would have taken me a few weeks to make something that looks a lot worse, so it's nice to know I've progressed somewhat as a developer. I think there is potential to expand the game, and there's some features I did want to add, like having seasons and seasonal trends, being able to move to different locations, making unique drinks like I mentioned before, as well as additional upgrades and charms. I'll be going back to working on Dreadwinter after this though, so that might be saved for another challenge. On that end, my plan is to clean up a few things that I've broken, and then there's a pretty cool area I want to work on, so the next devlog should cover that. That's it for this video, Pop Up Dreadwinter is available to play for free on itch.io, and also remember to like and subscribe.
Thanks for watching.